Blues Boy Jag here, yet another three string cigar box guitar lesson. It's funky three string. What we're gonna be doing here is sliding up and sliding backwards and getting kind of funky here. So we're tuned to open G. This is an A string tuned to G, a D string tuned normal to D, and a third string from a regular guitar, which is G, G, D, G. Fifth string, fourth string, third string. Super, super, super common. All right, so let's get right to it. We're gonna start by sliding up and sliding backwards. So first we're gonna go first finger on the first string, third fret, and we're gonna pluck up. You can use a pick or your fingers either way. I'm strumming all three strings for the entire lesson. So I'm sliding backwards from the third fret to the second fret to zero. You can pull off or you can strum twice. That's the strum twice, here's a pull off. Strum twice, pull off. So I'm doing an up strum on all three strings, sliding back down from the third fret to the second to zero. Remember, you gotta pull off on this finger after you slide. Bunch of different permutations to this lots of different ways you can do it so we're going to go to the second string now after we play that first lick notice i'm choking as well down up down up strum choking with the fretting and not the strumming him there's lots of different ways you can do this you can go up or back Sliding backwards on the first string or sliding up on the third. So you can kind of make up your own lick, obviously. Go up, go down, in between, just three strings. Basically, you're playing the third fret, the second, and zero. So you can do any kind of variation thereof. first string and slide up on the third. How about slide up on the second? How about slide down on the first and slide up on the first? How about slide down on the second and on the third and on the fourth and go ba da ba da ba da ba da however you want to do it. down from the second string and then back up on the first one thing that's real important about this lick is I'm, I'm muting with that fretting hand sometimes it's hard to do that pause. A lot of people go, nothing wrong with that. It's not like it's a wrong lick. This is just different. So try pausing for a split second before you slide up or slide down. It's just like a hammer on. 
except you're sliding, so it's not a hammer on, but it sounds just like a hammer on. So here's your hammer on. Here's a slide up. Hammer on. Almost sounds the same. So you can see there's a billion different options here. So if we're in the key of open G and we're gonna play a straight blues, you're gonna have the one chord, which is your G. Four chord is what? Correct, C. And the five chord is what? Correct, D. So you got G, C, D. So here's the G chord, right? This is sort of kind of the G chord, right? So we're playing the riff on the G chord, and we're playing on the first string and the second string and the third string, but that's all considered the one chord, which is the first chord of a three chord blues. In this case, D of G, so it's G. So the one is G. But this is not a shuffle, this is the entire lick is G. So this is your one chord. This whole little passage here is your one chord. <laughs> That's the one chord instead of a. That whole lick is your one chord. Does that make sense? Instead of doing your shuffle, you're doing a lick, which is sort of a fancier way of doing it. So here's your one. Here's your one again. Again. the four chord which is what in the key of G again oops I almost gave it away it's C so now I can go or whatever your lick happens to be for your four chord in this case I'm barring across here so that's your your uh, C chord this is your G or one one, four, five, right? So that's your one. Back to the one. Four. is funky is the muting with a fretting hand again you don't have to do any of this muting this is just a whole different way of playing a typical bombadita bombadita what they call bombadita that's your bombadita it's a little bit different than that everybody does that so this funk it up so that's the whole point of this lesson here's your riff on the one back to where we started Here's your four. Back to the one. Backwards. Five. Four. One. Now, of course, you can even turn to put the turnaround in there, which takes you back to the five. Let's try that. So we turned a simple little three chord shuffle into a really funky song. Same three chords, but those slide ups and slide downs and those chokes, those chokes, those chokes are real, real important to get that funky stuff going on. And I'm choking with this hand, the fretting hand. real important if you want that funky thing going on. What were those other notes you put in there, Jag? Hey, you're showing us all sorts of stuff, but you're not explaining. I 
basically I'm playing a little dinky pentatonic. <laughs> finger is on the first string fifth fret and you go up three more frets same thing on all three strings that's a G and a tonic right there that's the scale that is the scale that's the whole scale that's it just those notes for that little section right there and you got these they're everywhere throw a couple of those licks in. I'm playing a rhythm right there, but I'm also playing the actual pentatonic scale while I'm playing that rhythm. So it's sort of a solo and it's sort of chords, but not, but sort of, but not, but sort of, but not, but sort of. Right? G minor pentatonic. So I can make that a riff. I can take that pentatonic and make it a riff. I can also take this pentatonic and make it a riff. How about this? I'm playing six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm throwing a lot at you, but the whole point here is that you can just experiment don't get in your mind, gotta play a chord, gotta play a chord. Well, you're open to the chord, so your chord's right there. So don't be thinking too much about gotta play a chord, gotta go to the four, gotta go to the five. Just play some licks, play a couple of notes of the four, play a couple of notes of the five, and keep all the others open G, right? I do a lot of chords where I have my first finger on one three. Same old, same old, bum -ba -dee -da, bum -ba -dee -da. Nothing wrong with that, but hey, let's shake it up a little bit. Also, choking with this hand is critical for this sort of funky stuff. Now, how do you slide up like that? You pause for a split second. You can also not pause if you want. You can go. choking a lot too that really makes a big difference here it is without choking nothing wrong with that just different right i like to choke i like the funky stuff here's some of the same licks i just played without choking Sliding up one fret and going back down. The trick here, though, which I haven't mentioned, is you pause for a tiny, tiny nanosecond and then you slide up. All right, here's a little boogie and I'll take you out. jagshouse.com cigar box guitars just like this one since 2004 be sure and subscribe and we'll see you next time